Pitbull, let's find the reality. Although the American Kennel Club does not recognize the American Pit Bull Terrier as a dog breed, the United Kennel Club and the American Dog Breeders Association do. It is a solid-built, medium-sized dog with short hair that has British Isles roots. It is intelligent. Regardless of how you feel about pit bulls, it's important to dispel some myths so you can form informed judgments when forming your opinions about the dogs. It's surprising to learn that many people now see pit bulls as the world's worst animal because they were once cherished family pets. We therefore sought to dispel the top 5 myths surrounding pit bulls. In reality, pit bulls are not a recognized breed. There is a persistent misconception that most people are unable to identify a pit bull when they see one. Given the extensive media coverage of pit bulls and the wealth of resources available online and on social media, this is probably unlikely. Pit bulls can be identified by their muscular bodies and square-shaped heads in general. We believe that the misconception that pit bulls are difficult to identify actually results from a lack of understanding of what a pit bull actually is. Many people mistakenly believe that pit bulls are a particular breed, but in reality, the term pit bull refers to a number of canine breeds, also known as bully breeds. The American Pit Bull Terrier, Staffordshire Bull Terrier, Bull Terrier, and Cane Corso are some examples of these breeds. There are also a lot of mutts that probably have some pit bull DNA in them, though it might not be obvious. If you don't decide to DNA test your dog, it's very possible that the sweet mutt you adopted has bully breed ancestry. Pit bulls are riskier than other breeds of dogs. While some credible studies have shown that pit bulls bite and attack more frequently than other dogs, other reputable studies have found that a dog's breed does not affect how aggressive it is and that pit bulls are not significantly more aggressive than other dogs which is in direct opposition to the reliable data that some studies have presented. Any dog, even adored golden retrievers and lap dogs, has the potential to bite when provoked by the proper conditions. That said, because of their size, strength, and tenacity, pit bull attacks can result in significant harm. Pit bulls can also clamp down on their prey with their incredibly powerful jaw, which is why many pit bull bite victims report that the dog would not release its hold. As a result, pit bull attacks might be reported more frequently because the victims are more seriously hurt and require medical attention. However, if a tiny chihuahua attacked, it would probably be possible to treat any injuries at home because the dog is too small to do much harm. Pit bulls are unpredictable in behavior. We've read numerous news reports over the years about pit bulls that, after living a perfect life, suddenly snapped and turned on their owners with tragic results. When these attacks are reported, it's frequently claimed that the dog attacked without warning and without provocation. Pit bulls are no more or no less unpredictable than any other dog, according to experts. Though we can't speak for the inner thoughts of every pit bull out there. If a dog attacks, he was probably provoked by pain or something that was very uncomfortable for him. Pet owners need to be able to read their dog's body language to recognize when he might be feeling triggered before it escalates into aggressive behavior in order to stop attacks from happening. Due to the difficulty in interpreting the dog's body language and the force with which they can attack or bite, pit bull attacks can appear especially unpredictable. Pit bulls have a history of biting. It's true that a lot of pit bulls were bred specifically for dog fighting. Pit bulls were bred to attack wild animals that were cruelly chained to posts and used in the year of 1700 in the brutal bear and bull baiting sports. People frequently assume these dogs are dangerous and that killing is in their DNA because of their history of fighting. Pit bulls, however, also have a much happier past that doesn't involve any combat. They were frequently employed as guard dogs to watch over children on farming properties, to herd cattle, or to pull carts with heavy loads due to their strength and intimidating appearance. Pit bulls were renowned at the time for being amiable and patient playmates for kids. Nobody was concerned that their pit bull would eat them or their children. This breed doesn't need to kill or fight in order to survive because of its intelligence and tenacity. All it needs is a job to do. Pit bulls have historically been loving family pets and even famous historical figures and celebrities, such as Helen Keller and Teddy Roosevelt have owned them. In addition, many pit bulls achieved fame and success in well-known commercials and movies during the 20th century. Pit bulls have a complex history, so it's important to take that into account before assuming they are vicious and mean because they were only bred to fight. The upbringing of a pit bull matters. It's a common misconception that a pit bull's behavior is influenced by his owner and upbringing. 
but this is true of any pet. The nature versus nurture debate is relevant in this case. While a dog's genetic makeup may make it more likely for it to behave in undesirable ways, genes are not the only element that affects how a dog will turn out. If the owner wants their dog to be aggressive or if the right boundaries are not established during training, any breed of dog, not just pit bulls, can be raised to have aggressive tendencies. But puppies of any breed can make wonderful companions and dependable family pets when they are raised with consistent training and positive experiences beginning when they are young. It's crucial to make an effort to properly socialize young dogs and puppies if you want to teach your pet how to act around other dogs and people and stop aggressive behavior from developing as they get older. If your dog starts acting aggressively, Seek advice from a reputable veterinarian or professional trainer right away to stop the behavior before it gets worse or develops into a habit. The goal of this video is to dispel the misconception that pit bulls are more dangerous than other dogs. However, in conclusion, we can say that any dog has the potential to act aggressively when not wanted, regardless of whether your dog is a pit bull or not. If your dog is showing aggressive behavior, we strongly advise that you get professional advice from a dog trainer and try some useful training tools. Or you can find those tools from the description of this video below. So what are your thoughts about the pit bulls? Comment us below. And if you like this content, please do like and share with your loved ones. And for more contents like this, subscribe now. We will see you in the next one. Until then, peace.